Today, we get the black water. Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome back. Today, I'm making a spot for the poop to go. Right now, we're using this five gallon tank. This goes straight down from our toilet. So we've been doing number one in the toilet, flushing into here, and then we just dump this every day. Gets about three gallons in it a day. I, uh, we have a, put a shutoff valve going to the toilet and we have it just so it trickles just a little bit of water in every time you flush. So we've been using a composting toilet for number two, and we're using this plastic jug here for number one. This plastic jug is going to go from 5 gallons to 55 gallons, hopefully before today's done. Let's see how everything goes and let's see if I have enough of the fittings because never have I in my life worked on plumbing and had everything, but I think I have everything. We're going to find out what I'm missing. First things first though is, uh, maybe not, maybe I got to get the barrel and make something. My idea is something similar to this, but I bought a little bit different fittings. This is our gray water tank. And right now I have the water, the gray water goes into this fitting here. Uh, this two inch hole isn't going to work coming from the toilet. So I bought a grommet so that that, the three inch pipe that's going down into there and being reduced down, will be able to go right into the top of the barrel. And I'm going to have the two inch outlet just like this one has. I already see a part I don't own. And, um, how did I forget to buy a valve? <laughs> Spoke way too soon when I said I had everything. Could have swore I had another package of this on open. Because I want to put three straps over this just like I did the other one. It's probably not enough to hold it in an accident, but nobody rides down here. The worst case scenario did happen. Yeah, I guess it'd just be a mess in the bay. I'll hold it on there long enough to get the plumbing done. On the other barrel, I put two by fours underneath to raise it up an inch and a half. I don't know if I really need to raise it up that much. I like the little bit of air gap underneath. It seemed like that would work best with uh, insulation, allow some airflow underneath there. Now I'm wondering if it's just like half inch pink foam underneath there. Just set this right on the ground. It's probably all I'm gonna do is set this right on the ground. I don't think I need the airspace underneath it. As I strap that down tighter, I see those 2x4s want to pull up off of that plywood. And now I remember why I put the 2x4s on the bottom. I put those long 3-inch screws down into that lower 2x4 so all it could do was pull it through the wood. That wasn't happening. I knew everything was going to stay together. I guess I get to throw a couple 2x4s underneath it too.
Now comes the part I'm actually nervous about, and I don't even know why, but I gotta drill a hole in the top of the barrel to fit that three inch pipe in, and I've never, I mean, I bought a four inch hole saw. It's all it's supposed to take. I don't know, just something about if I do this wrong, the barrel's garbage, not the end of the world. I mean, I bought them used $15 a piece, but it means I have to go find another barrel. I suppose it's time to drill a hole. Could be worse, I could be drilling a hole in the roof of the bus. Once I have to vent these up through the roof, that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the hard hole to drill. To seal where the pipe goes in the barrel, I'm using this, it's called a uniseal. If I drill a four inch hole in the barrel, this snaps into the barrel, and then a three inch PVC pipe or three inch inside diameter PVC pipe is supposed to seal directly around here. I think it's supposed to be good for 60 PSI. I don't have to have any pressure in it. I'm just looking to have anything that splashes around in the tank not leak out over the top because that's, that's a mess I don't need. Just thinking to myself now i got to get all those little pieces of plastic out of there because that's what uh plugged up our water pump was a little shaving of plastic made it into the pump held open one of the little uh what's the right word for it diaphragms yeah that's it held open one of the diaphragms on the diaphragm pump and it just quit pumping water took it apart cleaned it out then i remembered the little bits of plastic are the least bit of worry that's going into this tank Wow, that's that's what I was afraid of. That's not tight. Or does it get tight when the pipe goes into it? Oh yeah, that's what happens. Okay. Pipe's gonna take a little bit of lubricant to get into the hole. I could make a joke about that, but maybe I shouldn't. I think this is gonna work quite well. Time to go to Lowe's and get some more supplies. Seems like a never ending deal. Man, do I ever miss Menards. I'm back from Lowe's. Time to get this black tank done. On these straps, I'm using a fender washer, a bonded washer, then this two and three quarter inch screw. It's not the right screw. Yeah, it is. And then this is what holds down the strapping. I make it so the strapping's tight so as the screw pulls down, it pulls that strapping really tight down. If I screwed it just sideways, I wouldn't get that downward pull. But by running that screw in at an angle, it pulls the strap down as the screw tightens. Still got room to turn that.
charcoal primer like makes the plastic all prepared for the glue and the glue actually melts the plastic together it's not really glue it's a solvent hit 90 before that turn last time he left. Oh, that was Dennis? Yeah. I thought so. There, now that'll all be locked together within a minute. Maybe I will. Just, just barely. If they had a threaded valve, they, they didn't even sell a three inch valve. What I wanted was a three inch threaded valve. So this went right into the valve, and then I just had to have an adapter and a thing behind it, but they don't sell that there. Not like, not like it's out of stock, like they don't even sell that there. One hour later. This is where I want it. We can finish it in the daylight tomorrow. My beard look good? Of course. <laughs> Your beard looks fine. No lucky charms in it or anything? <laughs> no, no lucky charms in the beard. I finished the black tank. Um, I did not turn on the camera the last day. We were on our way out of town and I just, I think I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> a lot of things going on in my mind, a lot of uh, whatever. Distractions. Yeah, that's the right word for it. But either way, here is the plumbing comes down from the toilet. The pl plumbing comes down from the toilet, 22 and a half degree bend, and the second 22 and a half degree bend right into it. I wish I could have moved the whole barrel farther forward, but the valving and everything I could get, this was as short as I could get it with all the adapters. I really wanted a three inch valve, so this could have screwed right into the valve, and then I would have just needed an adapter on the one side, but I wasn't able to find that. So this is what we have. We can always move it forward if we have to. It's bolted through the floor of the bus in four places. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to stay where it's at, at least for temporary. Because I do, there's an area back behind here that used to have the over-the-road AC in it. And I think that's where I'd like the black tank in the future. And then this one instead would come out behind this door here. But for now, this will work. It's really nice having a black tank. <laughs> yeah, it is. I have to hook a vent to the black tank still that goes up through the roof. So right now when you flush it, sometimes it burbles up the smells into the bus and 
<laughs> yeah. Not recommended. Not no. recommended. Don't forget your vents. Nope. The vent still needs to be installed. Um, Hopefully that's next. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's get that done pretty soon. But the tank part of the tank works and it's pretty handy because it's been two weeks now and it's time it's to dump it. Works great. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did like it, hit that likes button. And if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Yeah. If you made it to this point and Whatever. dislike it. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace. Okay. He's not really that much closer to us. Nice. Okay. In this game of closerness. <laughs> closerness. <laughs> Did she go across the creek? I don't know where she went. Oh, it's so quiet out here. I love it. I mean, you can barely even hear the water flow. Yeah, it's as quiet as it's ever been here. Oh, I hear Jesse. <laughs> She's like, I thought when you guys crossed this creek, you walked all over the place. Hey, lady. And now you're just stopped. <laughs>